Hello, storytellers. It's Storytelling Ron. I'm here in Hollywood, California, where it's 50 degrees. It's so cold. How can people live like that? 50 degrees, man. I'm going to die. All right. So um, I'm going to talk about Christians in space and, and missionaries and evangelism. And, you know, even for me, this is like a, a new revelation. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying the, that, that extra level of role playing where it's fellowship edification and I'm learning more about like how missionaries work and really the history of the West and how we Christianize this land. Now we're obviously failing today. We're not Christianizing. We're not evangelizing anymore. We're not, we're not missionaries anymore. We're all, you know, we're all personifying Christianity, personalizing it in our own struggles and what I need in my faith. And you know, my shouldn't be so, uh, what's the word? Not facetious, whatever, but, um, 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 flipping about it, but um, we don't. Christianity, the commission is about evangelism, it's about spreading the word, and, and it's about going out and rebuking evil. And we're not doing that anymore, you know. And I just watched Sound of Freedom too, and we're not out there like the Royal Navy and the African Squadron. Now, that's a game setting I'm coming up. I'm just trying to finish these, and and then I'm gonna start working on some new game settings, but um. Um, we're not out there rebuking evil. We're not out there confronting evil anymore. So the, the the human trafficking is exploding. There's no one out there. I mean, you know, I'm saying statistically, there's there there's people out there fighting for sure. I'm not trying to disregard that, but I'm just saying in an over manner the way the, the way the church, the way the Catholic Church did it, and the way um, the Protestants did it. Think about this too. The whites in the whites started slavery, and I'm I'm using the term whites because that's what the woke, the left is using white colonizers. The white colonizers didn't start using slavery um, till you know of Africans until 1600ish, right? 1600ish, and the first slaves were were Portugal. And actually, the Portuguese thought they were helping these black people because of all the horrible wars that were going on in Africa, and you know bringing them to to Portugal. And they found them to be very helpful. So they, it kind of became this whole oh, we we could help them. And then of course it got worse. Um, but 1600 is when white colonizers started slaving. Fine. You know, that's what they claim. They claim they, uh, the left says that. Well, by 1900, we, we eradicated it in, across the world. We ended the, you know, the, 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 the Royal Navy ended, so 300 years, less than 300 years, less than 300 years, we started and ended black slavery. Less than 300 years. 1600-ish to let before 1900. Okay, actually 1860. And and the whites were fighting it from 1800. So the whites only did slavery for from 1600 to 1800 technically. The um the slave trade and then and the British the Britain British and then the Americans finally ended it at 1860. Finally fought the Democrats, the early Democrats and ended slavery. So only 2 to 150 260 years. Okay. Well, Africans and Arabs were doing slavery since Freaking biblical times since 2500 BC. When did they end it? They never ended it. They were doing it for 2500 to 1900 is uh, four or 4,000 years, right? 4,000 years, 4,000 years. Arabs and Africans have been doing slavery and never ended it. Whites did it. White colonizers did it from 1600 to 1900 AD. Freaking stopped it. Went to war. Hundreds of thousands of whites died fighting other whites and Africans and Arabs to end it. And those whites, by the way, to me, have nothing to do with the color of their skin. It has to do with their belief system, which was Christian. They were the, the, the primary Christians of the of the age. Because they're you know, the white Russians weren't really weren't doing it. Um, it was the British, uh, it was the Christians in, on that side of the world. And, um, and to, you know, I think it was the Reformation and the Protestant Christians that were fighting it. Well, the Catholics fought it too, so don't get me wrong there. Uh, why am I going off on that? Okay, actually, I'm supposed to be talking about Christianity. Okay, I mean, Christians in space. Okay, and actually, that's kind of actually going to matter. Uh, it's going to tie in, believe it or not. Okay, so here we have... I just want to go over how, how wonderful this is. Because um, it's so awesome. Okay, I had a little sneezy, blowy nose thing there. Okay, so this is uh, the game set up in Foundry. 
and you could even have this on a table. I mean, you probably don't want to have the planet there, but here is how I we do ships in Christians in Space. So you got your ship. It's just like a dungeon map, man. You're running around in it. Who's doing what? It's pretty cool. It's really cool, man. And then this here is like their supplies. And you can have this, you know, like a sheet of paper. Or it's a starting mission supplies and they kind of write down on there. And then this is the stats of the ship. And it's very simple. I mean, they got a bunch of weapons on it. And then the um, this is the um, the parts of the ship. So if they get attacked, I roll randomly to see what part is shot and damaged. And, um, you know, they got to run around and, uh, you know, repair it or get out of there because it's got an air, you know, vacuum leak or whatever. Uh, or they get damaged in there or hurt. Someone's got to go rescue them, you know. Um, and so the story is for this, I just, I want to go over this cause I'm a nerd and this is just for fun and hopefully the players don't listen to it, but if they do, oh well. Um, this is how fun this game is. So they came to this planet and I did set up a trap, but they didn't take the bait, uh, <laughs> with like a defunct, uh, it's hidden, but you know, a def um, um, a damaged freighter or a dead in space freighter or whatever that was floating there. And they, you know, they could have went and salvaged it outside. It's this is like a Tatooine kind of planet, um, but they didn't take the bait because the, the the there was pirates waiting, and they were waiting on freighters like over on the other side of the planet, and it would and it would have given them time to deal with it, you know, as they're coming to to get them. But these guys would have came and attacked them. And again, these guys have their own, you know, stats and stuff, uh, their own ship here, and they got and see they got players, so they could board. There could be boarding actions, to, you know. And the whole culture of this Christians in space is that. Uh, these pagans um, will want to board and conquer and take your ship. They don't want to just blow you out of the sky. They they want, you know, the the, the, the assets. So they will risk everything to do that. Everyone does that, and that's their mindset. Um, and this ship here is is you know broken, but shoot, they they could have taken it. You know, could have been a prize. Uh, but they didn't take it, so they 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 went down to the planet, and that's my sadness. Okay, so let's go over to the planet then. They went down, and this is my planet setup. See, look at this awesomeness. They went down there. Uh, so there's a bunch of pipes and stuff. But they, so they were delivering. They, they got this job where they were delivering slave crates. And here's their shuttle. They dropped off, and they got these slave crates here. And I just want to go over my, my basic thing here is, is is learning as a GM to to play this GM this type of game because it's it's new, and for how 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 evangelism and missionary work missionary stuff works. <laughs> And so they're they're over here, I think. Um, but they learned they learned about this planet, and they learned like there's a gladiator arena where they're killing people in it for fun, like criminals, prisoners, whatever. Very brutal. And, and I made the guys, oh yeah, we love this. This is great. Why not? Pagans did that, and it, and it took a Christian. One guy. Oh, I should have looked up. I read about it, but one guy came out on the arena during the in Rome Roman times to yell out and scream how bad it was and I think he got killed and then then the other Christians started thinking about it and realizing oh this is bad so it was a Christian who ended this 700 year concept of gladiator brutal brutality killing people for entertainment for sport and I mean I mean, look at today we're, we're doing movies today over and over now pushing for killing each other you know, the movies are pushing that. One one day, a professor is going to write a write a freaking thesis like they're doing with um, um, pedophilia. They're going to write a little thesis saying killing each other in, in a sport could be considered okay. They're going to start doing that. The universities, Harvard, Penn, those guys, it, based on the context of terrorism and genocide, the context could be entertainment. They're going to start doing that. I, mark my words, these pagans are going to start doing that, just like they did back in the Roman times. Because we Christians are not rebuking the sin and the evil of this. I mean, we are, so thankfully. But I'm, I'm another guy saying, let's keep doing it. Let's, let's, you know, um, and that's what happened in the Roman times. Ergo, so I'm going. So this planet, I am showing how, and you know, you as a dad playing with your kids, you should be able to do that. Show how there's evil. Oh yeah, what's wrong with this? You know, we have fun, sport, killing, and <laughs> so I did that. And they, what did they do? Nothing. What did the Christians do here? Nothing. Which makes total sense. Missionaries, even back in back in the day in the Roman times, couldn't confront every evil and sin yet. They couldn't. They had to go in and figure out what's going on first. 
And so many times we're, you know, the pagans and whatever blame Christians for allowing slavery or allowing this or that, but they don't know what it takes as a missionary to go to a place and then see the pag- their pagan evil. I love evil does that, right? Evil will never take responsibility for evil. They will always blame the Republican Party. They will always claim a party switch. They will never take responsibility for their evil, for their slavery, for the Fugitive Slave Act, for 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 counting slaves as in, uh, for voting as one third human or whatever. They will never take responsibility for that. They will always blame the Republican Party or, or, or Christians or white colonizers for their evil, right? That's that's the, actually the logical truth of evil. It, if evil, if you have someone constantly saying something wicked about others constantly that's their you don't even know what their policies are because they just constantly say blaming others for stuff um they're evil so you know i just just saw the headline where the san francisco mayor is blaming capitalism for the evil of uh, all the homeless sh- sh- camps and stuff yeah because you know i guess when you when you have a communist leader come in and they clean it up yeah my hey, must be must be communism that really cleans up the cities not capitalism um anyway so in here it was, it was really cool i really liked i'm sorry i'm so ranting in this i wanted to just to be a fun thing but like i'm ranting okay let me calm down here um this will there's a lot of fun that's my point my point is this is so cool they so they they realized they couldn't do anything about it but they're trying to figure out the place so they they got a job they had they had these slave crates and of course they're delivering slave crates Obviously, as missionaries, they have to make these compromises. In Pope Gregory bought slaves in Italy back in the uh, six seven hundred A.D. He, he bought them, so there was still, so slavery was still going on in, in Europe at that time, and he, he you know he was still the Christians were still trying to deal with that. They hadn't yet gotten the power of the, as of the church to finally end slavery. So at that time, they were just trying to buy the slaves up and then free them, or, or you know, and, and what he did was he he trained them to be monks um, and missionaries to go into back to their home was in england so that was a big um he had a big um um you know movement of uh christian monks to england which is where when when the whole viking lindisfarne and the viking attacks happened which was only like 100 years later but um but yeah they ended slavery at at some point but in 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 europe but it took them a while because of they had to figure they had to go in get connected with okay another thing they claim and this is and you can see it in this even in this game is the the missionaries can't just go and start telling people what to do and not to do right they got to figure out the power structure the hierarchy of this culture and and they actually moved over to a smaller settlement where they deliver the slave crates here to um and then they're figuring out the power structure here and they're gonna have to deal with it um and it's pretty cool it's a pretty interesting thing they're doing here they did fight some cool reptiles and they got brought them over to this little settlement and to, you know to give it to them as food and they did like a trade um and so they got some stuff out of it but then these reptilian dudes are actually the slavers that the people give their slaves to for protection against the reptilians and they all believe in it they all sort of worship these reptilians as as they, I, I i describe it as they're all you know, they all have a bunch of uh, religious accessories on their buildings and stuff where they admire the reptilians and they give them their children. Why not? That's paganism. And so they they didn't stop it. You know, they almost confronted the reptilians, but then the people told them, no, please don't confront. Don't, ca- you know, cause a problem here. You're the problem, Christians. Don't cause a problem here. You know, we have a good thing going on here with s- sacrificing our children for safety. So, so... This is really so many levels to me as a GM. It's like, holy moly, what what do they do? What's going? You know, what I, I gotta play the pagans like pagans. You know, why not slavery? Why not? There's no god, so why not slavery? Why not? Why not worship the reptilians? Why not give in to their tyranny? Why not? There's no god. They don't even gods. You know, they don't have any gods. They just have well, they have plenty of little gods, um, like the reptilians. The reptilians are their gods, and the reptilians want slaves. So they're gonna give up their children. Why not? That's paganism. Make up, make up your, make up your religion as you go. That's paganism. And I actually, I think I'm gonna do another video. I've been watching. I went watching a pagan young lady on YouTube who's a pagan, 
and she confirmed exactly what I've been reading. They make it up. They make it up. So when a pagan comes to you and tells you Christianity is lame, they don't have anything to stand on, and they that's the way they want it. They don't want to have to defend anything. And I noticed that too about the pagans in the past. They never wrote down their their beliefs. The, the reason they never wrote it down is because they could that way they could change it. The Bible being written down means you can't. The pastor can't just make up stuff, right? Uh, in 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 a Christian church, we constantly we have the the the, the followers have this thing. Uh, what's it say right here? You know, if the pastor is going off, that's what the a real Christian does. Christian men of the church. Uh, that's not what it says right here, buddy. You know, uh, pastor can't just go off. But in paganism, the uh, witches and can make up whatever they want. And they can go whatever wherever they want, and they can manipulate you however they want. Why not? I know they're writing stuff down now, but now they're writing it down because there's no history behind it, so they can change it. Obviously, they can they can just add something else, change it, new edition. But the Bible specifically and strictly says you cannot change it. I mean, if you do, many have tried, and many are still trying. Um, then you know, you know, you know that, that there's no historical basis for what they're doing. So we have now a track record of the Bible that you can't just change it. I mean, you can, but you're gonna be a liar there and be exposed. Whereas pagans can change it; they can certainly change their religion um, to fit whatever they need, and that's what we're I'm doing here. So. I'm really, I'm, ex, I'm excited for what these guys are going to do. Like, what are they going to do? And they are coming up with some plans and stuff. But what they aren't doing is just directly going out and fighting and confronting them. But there's plenty of action. They've had some good action in here, man. They, I, I did a thing where, uh, where's the map? It's not on the tab here. Uh, in, in one of the episodes, that they, 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 I was trying to get a little action going, you know, because you do want to do that. You do want to have some action going. So they, as they were um, collecting the dead bodies of the, the reptiles, I had a bunch of um, dudes coming. And they shot one man, Nat 20. The dude did a sniper, blew him up, man. And these guys, I rolled the Newment, and they fled. They rolled the Newment. Um, I rolled a one, and they fled. And uh, I, I could have added more. So I had this ready, but I didn't want to because I, I was going to wait and keep that, wait that for later. And I wanted—I was just so intrigued with what they're going to do next in the story that I, I didn't want to add another secondary combat. Like when they accomplish something, they rolled a nat twenty, killed a guy, and the rest fled. I'm not going to like add another one to that. I'm going to reward them with wow—they give them a glory point, and they get to move on. You know, so that, that's kind of my re quick reasoning at the time. I didn't want to just keep throwing more at them. That would—I felt like that'd be unfair since they were so successful at at um, repelling those ones. But yeah, they had—they fought these things. They fought. They had, you know, they they fought and had a, a good, effective uh, fight against that, uh, and then now they're back at. A, they actually left this and went back, went to another planet, so they're they're doing something else. And this is the, um, you know, I got this this sort of. It's definitely small right now. I'm trying to build it out, um, and they're in this area right here, and there's a lot going on. I, I think I feel like I'm. I'm building up a lot of puzzle pieces for them and they're helping me in to build them they're influencing my take on it um, you know so it's a wonderful st the story is growing I'm so I'm so happy with how uh, this is working for the Lord RPG and I hope that you as a Christian uh, man can uh, and, and women too but women you know like I said there's many differences in men and women and I want that to be role played out. I want that to be accentuated. I want that to be. I want you to, as a woman, I really want you to play a woman and feel what you have to do in the game and and feel edified uh, in those your strength, your limits, and your strengths. And same with a man, because the, the men in this are, are limited too. They can't just start attacking. Um. <clears throat> so, for the little RPG, check it out. I've got um. What do, what do I have? I have um. I figured out a new print run and that more affordable that I'm going to be doing these. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for those to come in. So I'll be, I'll be having the prints, but the PDFs are two uh, right now. They're on, on my website, the, the, um, just the rule book right now, um, for, for the Lord RPG, the dark ages setting and the apocalypse one and the Christian space is done. I just got to clean up. I'm almost done. I'm like every day now, today I'm going to work on it. You know, after this video, I'm going to work on it, clean it all up. And I, ha I have each one of them has a supplement of creature 
creatures or adventures. I kind of mix those in together, the adventure and the creatures um, for these locations and stuff that are on here. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm busy working on it. I can't get it done by Christmas, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Merry Christmas, the birth of Jesus, uh, celebrating that during this time and having all the fun fun stuff, fun, fun food and dinners and parties and, and things like that that are pretty enjoyable and gifts. Um, I do like this time of year. I love this time of year. It's a bit of a bummer, though, because everyone's saying holiday now. You know, they're not... It's all being backtracked. It's, it's not like it used to be, man. It is not like it used to be. But that's okay. We're... I do feel like Christians are becoming more Christian. The Christians are becoming more Christian. And we're, we don't have a bunch of faux Christians. I mean, we... You know, you know what I mean? I f the apologetics and, and the way things are going with the woke and all that, I think we're being sorted. I think we're being... I feel like we're being sifted these days. Um, and I'm fine with that. Whatever. So... All right, I'm in the game of life. Roll holy dice, okay? Roll holy dice. And Christians in space.